Welcome to yet another episode of the Dead Fraud Podcast with Harold Moyo. And today, hey. I don't know. Sure, guys, <laughs> we have the wonderful, <laughs> the awesome. Namaste. the talented oh thank you the beautiful thank you esther chungu thank you my brother and i won't stop there Uh i have to honor the nyatango yes please (laughs) (laughs) wow 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 finally Finally, I you know what the funny part is. <laughs> what? I always have a way we just start my shows, right? Yes, yes. But today I'm gonna dish that way uh-huh. and tell our viewers something. Okay. So I knew you back in the day, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. I'm just starting you, out. You're starting out. Mm-hmm. I think you're transitioning yes. from another genre to you're something, right. Right. you know. And I will talk about that. Obviously, mm-hmm. we don't want to preempt that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And all I knew was, I need to sign this lady. <laughs> yeah, I, I remember you were on it. Like, <laughs> I remember. I was like, I need to sign <laughs> this lady. Yeah, 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 yeah. And mm. you're probably going to be the first Zambian artist to sign. Mm-hmm. But um, God had other plans. Right. I know. We will, there's, there's gonna be some deal which happens in the future. <laughs> yeah, some, so, some sort of deal. I just it's need to come coming. and bring it. I just need to come and bring it back. Please. I just need to come bring and bring it back. back. <laughs> <laughs> How are you, Esther? I'm good, thank you, my brother. How are you? I'm good amazing. to see you. It's good to see good you too. To see you. Did yes. you just give birth? Yes, sir. And you look so good. <laughs> thank you. It's the grace of God. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. That's the grace of God. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Um, for those people who do not mm. know you, mm. please just tell us your name, your surname, mm-hmm. where you're from. Right. Yeah. Okay. Well, so I am Esther Chungu Nyatando. Mm. Uh, my maiden name was Esther Chungu Mubanga, but now I'm married, and so it's Nyatando. I am the, well, there's two dynamics. Mm. So before the information I'm about to give, I was mm. the firstborn and mm. only girl. Yeah. Uh, of three, okay, and I was raised by a single mom. Dad died when I was four. I'm sorry. Unfortunately, yeah, yeah that's okay. So mm, I was four. My younger brother was uh, three, mm-hmm. Nathan, and my youngest brother Josiah was eight months when dad died. So mom was widowed at 28. Sure. Imagine that. Widowed at 28, not much, you know, like to to hang on to as far as finances are concerned. Yeah, and so. My, my background is very, very humble. You know, we have lived in, you know, houses before, like people's houses, you know, yes, families, yes, other yes. families, you know, yes. who were kind to my mother. And I have seen how she has held on to God and held on to her faith, even in the times that, you know, someone would understand her letting go, you know, of her, of her faith. But I've really seen how, how much my mother loves God. And I think that's the main thing that has also inspired me to truly love God, you know, beyond whatever it is that I'm going through. Like God is still good in the valleys, on the mountains. He's still a good God. That's one of the greatest things I've learned from my mother. And she was uh, single for about 21, 22 years Mm -hmm. and got married again, I think about three, four years ago to an amazing man who's now our daddy. He, you know, blessed us with, six siblings mm-hmm. so now i'm not the only girl we are six girls and three three guys so it's a blended family now very um beautiful moment and uh it's 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 just so humbling you know how far god has brought me i have seen god in my life like from the very beginning harold you know like i can't even say oh no i've never walked with god you know that type yes, of thing yes. i grew up in a christian home mm. of course i just knew about god you know when you're young you're just like oh there's god you know yes, there's... yes. but i really really um received him as my personal lord and savior you know jesus christ that is on on um well when i was 12. Mm. when i was 12 and i haven't looked back of course there's been hurdles and whatnot but I've been working with God since. Um, I'm a I'm a lover of joy. 
<laughs> I'm very joyful. I love to laugh. Yeah. You know, I love a good time. Mm. Uh, I love food. I love to read, though I've been slacking. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I love to watch movies. Um, I love people. I genuinely love people. And I'm so grateful to God that he's, he has been using me, you know, to be uh, a source of, you know, help in one way or the other through music. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So. Yeah. So, you know, this is the very first time I ask people, someone to tell mm-hmm. Uh, our viewers, yep. our, our podcast family, hey. you know, those listening, <laughs> yes. you know, on mm-hmm. Apple, yeah. on uh, what, Team what, Apple. all those people, you know, <laughs> yeah. the other stuff which don't matter. <laughs> and, <laughs> ah, <laughs> <my God. laughs> yeah. uh, and the reason why I asked you is because, mm-hmm. you know, obviously we. Uh, from South Africa, yeah. we we located in South Africa. That's mm-hmm. like our base yes. in terms of our, our podcast base. Yes. Mm-hmm. But I always believe that Africa is a country. Too much. Not like how Americans say Africa is a country. Yes. No, Not Africa, like is that. A, <laughs> Africa is a country, which means that every African needs to eat of mm-hmm. every food mm-hmm. in every African country. I love that. South Africans need to come and, and come eat here. in Zambia. Yes. It shouldn't be just the Muzungus mm-hmm. who come and eat. Very true. Muzungu's white people. Very you know, true. So know. No, 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 no. For, for the, for the for people. <laughs> yeah. It shouldn't be just the Muzungu's yes. who come mm. and eat. Muzungu's is basically saying, you know, Mlungu, you know, you know, in, term, in, 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 in Zambia. Mm-hmm. It should be just the Muzungu's. Mm-hmm. So I believe Africa is for Africans. Yeah. Every, whether you're an artist, business person, mm-hmm. you need to do what... Um, all the basically yeah. major South African businesses mm-hmm. do. Yeah. They go into every mm-hmm. African space mm-hmm. in the nation. And they take they, over. They take over. Yeah. So yeah. while well, if you've got a product in Soweto mm-hmm. or Kapilonga mm-hmm. or Harare mm-hmm. or Kampala mm-hmm. or Entebbe mm-hmm. or you know Abuja, yeah. you know, wherever I you are, that. make sure that you are you go able in, to go you know. in. Yes. So this is an African podcast mm-hmm. just located in South Africa. Yay. And right now you're in Zambia. Hey! Max International now. <laughs> Your husband in, and you. Yes. You know? <laughs> yeah. You have a song which actually says international. Oh, local. local. You know? <laughs> yes. You are my. Shambox. <laughs> Shamboki. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah. So, yeah. Mm. Esther. Mm. We all know Esther from the Bible. Of course. Right. Mm-hmm. And I believe that um, names mm-hmm. carry prophecy. 100%. You know, when uh, a parent comes up and uh, says, mm-hmm. I'm going to name, name you this. this yeah. That name is uh, a name yes. from God. Mm-hmm. And it's a name which is going to uh, speak into your future. Mm-hmm. Do you love your name? What does your name mean? Mm-hmm. And... Um, do you believe that this was definitely prophetic? Mm, 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 mm. That's a very interesting question. I've never been asked if I love my name. <laughs> <laughs> very, very good. Yeah. I, I love my name. I absolutely yeah. love my name. One of my favorite, you know, people from the Bible is Esther. Not yeah. that you know I'm because I'm named Esther, but mm. really I resonate with her. And I really feel this name has has done so much. Mm. For me, I think that's one of the reasons that that I even changed. Because initially, when I started uh, the music, wow. <laughs> come in, come in. Eh? <laughs> I, I was, you know, I had a stage name, yeah. uh, you know, by the name of Carmine. Mm. And I'm sure a lot of people actually think Carmine stopped singing. It is I. I yeah. just, you know, changed. And one of the reasons is because I feel there's so much power in one's identity, mm-hmm. and there's so much power, I believe personally, in the names that have been given. You know, mm. like the names you've been given, the yes. names that you've been given by your parents. You know. So Esther Chungu. Chungu is uh, is my middle name. Mm-hmm. I am not Ebo Chungu's sister. <laughs> That's his sister in the Lord. For those who don't know, Ebo yeah. Chungu is mm-hmm. one of the uh, amazing yes. top artists, top artists uh, in Zambia, in Zambia and, Africa at large, yeah. and in Africa at large. Mm-hmm. Is, uh, we've actually, I think we've toured with mm-hmm. him in more than... With especially with him, I think we've toured with him in more than six and ten wow. six countries, ten wow, cities. Wow, 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 wow! Yeah, so Amazing. we've uh, we've done quite a bit Amazing, yeah. know, with with him, especially in his early yeah. start, start of, his, of, yes. of his career. Yeah, right. Yeah. So Chungu was my dad's name. So I don't yeah. know if he was expecting a, a son for a firstborn. <laughs> <laughs> so he already gave me the Chungu side. Yeah. And then for Esther, funny enough, it actually came 
through a dream mm-hmm. my my mom's closest friend mm-hmm. dreamt that she had a baby girl yeah. i think back then they couldn't scan yet eh? mm-hmm. like where they know like oh we're having a baby girl mm-hmm. that she dreamt she had a baby girl and she was named esther for a, for a specific reason and lo and behold that was like just some days before or so that mm-hmm. i was born and i was born mm-hmm. and so they named me esther and I have seen how prophetic that, that name has been over my life because whether I like it or not, in one way or the other, I have found myself, you know, try, like caring for more than just myself, you know, mm-hmm. like caring for people who, who can be affected by whatever it is that I do, whatever it is that I say. Yeah. Uh, and so I've, I've seen that element of Esther from the Bible in my personal life. And I think that has helped me stay sane. It has helped me stay to an extent responsible because I know for a fact my life is beyond just me. Yeah. And I think the sooner I, I came to terms with that, the better it was for my, you know, decision making and life choices. Cool. Yeah. Um I love that. And um I always believe whether the firstborn is a mm-hmm. daughter mm-hmm. or a son. Yeah. I believe that God's purpose still gets carried through exactly. whatever exactly. child you bear. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I have a nine year old Eden whom I yes. know, you know. A baby girl. And, um, <laughs> I'm like even if I had gotten Harrison mm-hmm. or Harold mm-hmm. or mm-hmm. Harry still Junior. Now when I'm looking at it, I'm like, mm-hmm. 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 the will of God is actually even right now. Yeah, exactly. She's ministering yeah, exactly. to me. I can I can I can see that, mm-hmm. you know, that um the will of God still can yeah. carry through. Yeah. And um you speak something which uh of something which I'm really, really passionate mm-hmm. about. Mm-hmm. You know, there's something about parenting. Mm-hmm. I've always said to people we need to differentiate that there is the God's design. Yes. Right? Mm-hmm. Which is mother and father, father. Mm-hmm. coming up to parent the child. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. And then there is sometimes unfortunate mm-hmm. uh, scenarios, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. which is uh, mostly realities when you get raised by single mothers. Yeah. You know? And um, I just want to ask because obviously we spoke of that international or local. Mm-hmm. 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 You not being raised by a dad. Mm-hmm. Right? I love that. I'm already being, being emotional. I'm sure people, <laughs> people who know me, people who follow me, yeah. know that this one is an emotional one. But anyway. Yeah, yeah. you yeah. not being raised by a dad. Mm-hmm. I'm going to skip all these other stages yeah. of your life and mm-hmm. start from the top where you are right mm-hmm. now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You get a man who comes up and loves you. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. Is that... Did that affect how you view him Mm -hmm. or how you have to learn to honor him? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Whether you biblically or Mm -hmm. so, but Mm -hmm. there's something which happens with someone Mm -hmm. who actually comes up and says, you know what, I've been, I've seen how my mother mothers me, Mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Or I've seen how I've been told that the gift which I can give Eden mm-hmm. and Amaya is for me to be there mm-hmm. for them mm-hmm. because that is going to echo mm-hmm. when they're now in marriage. Exactly. Do you feel like there is, um, there was like, there was some, you know, the, mm-hmm. did that affect in a way? Most definitely, most, most definitely. Because in, in general, even when it came to my, to my love life, I realized that to an extent, I was looking for a father figure. Mm-hmm. Do, 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 do you get it? Like, in, in a way, without realizing, like, I was looking for something that my husband can't really feel that way. He's, he's not supposed to be my father, he's supposed to be my husband, you know? And that's not fair on him for me to be expecting him to fill that void. And the sooner I, I understood that, I think the, the, the faster it was for me to, to really work on that, because that came, you know, with unnecessary expectations of someone because even in the first year of our marriage because i grew up with just a mother you know mm. just mom and she she tried her best you know to balance things but it was just mom and the boys and i so those certain dynamics in the household that were very different mm. from you know when you have a husband and a wife yes, in, in the yes, household. Yes. So I had to learn and I learned so many things, which was sometimes a little frustrating, but he was very, very patient with me because the dynamics we have, you know, Chaka and I, mm. are that I, I grew up with a single mother. He grew up with both parents. Mm. Both his parents are alive and I'm so grateful. And the, 
the, the, the background I come from is a background of survival. Mm -hmm. He came from a background of stability, yes, yes. you know? So all of that comes, you know, kind of clashing in the marriage because I look at a certain uh, thing from, from my perspective from childhood. Mm -hmm. He looks at it from his perspective from childhood. And one of the things that really helped us was premarital uh, counseling because that was, you know, brought to light and it was exposed. So we had to be very intentional about how to handle such things. So definitely have, having been brought up, you know, by single mother, like all the way, all the, all the important years, you know, were just with mom. Because she got married like just three, four years ago. So yeah. I was already old enough, you know, mm -hmm. to have had a foundation of either <laughs> having a father or father figure or not. And, and so it, it took a lot of, of um, what would I say, intentionality, you know, to just snap out of, you know, the, the, the Esther that I was, before marriage and you know the Esther that I am now it, to to make sure that I understand the the importance of you know him being the man of the house and me being you know the woman of the house because that also does affect in terms of you know responsibilities and whatnot because I grew up almost trying to fend for myself because of I, I because I saw how mom you know used to fend for yes, us so yes. there's no man in the picture you yes, know to yes. say oh here's yeah. some scoopies for yeah. the children here's some something for food mm -hmm. you know it was always just you know her hustling and you mm -hmm. know trusting god and so that's 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 the type of lady like lady i became you know the type of girl i became like i have to work for what it is i want I have to do so now entering the marriage and you know understanding the the hierarchy you know that god has placed the responsibilities that god has placed on the man and on the woman i think that really helped me to really understand that there was that serious void but you know We've gotten better. This is our now our second year. You know, we we have now entered into the the space of of, of parenthood. You know, mm -hmm. we just received our son, and so all of those dynamics now are now coming to light. You know, because it's now a, a whole new thing now. Yeah, but definitely being being raised without a dad really affected me. But it affected more my brothers, to be honest. Mm -hmm. I really feel fathers are very important in their sons' lives. Yes. Yeah, but of course there's nothing you can do when, when, when it has to do with death. Uh, so I've seen how the, that void has also affected my brothers. And I just pray that God continues to connect them to people who will help them uh, in one way or the other to really just see God's love and, of course, the importance of them being, you know, the men that they ought to be. You know, definitely, and uh, I believe all genders need parents, mm -hmm. right? Exactly. And uh, I like the fact that you highlights that uh, you were looking, uh, you were looking for a father. For a father, mm -hmm. you know, in Chaka, in a romantic, uh, yeah, probably setup. rather in a romantic mm -hmm. setup, and um, that's what's happening mm -hmm. with most. Uh, females out right, there, right. you know, and also with males too. Mm -hmm, Sometimes mm -hmm. we come up and we look for uh, if the mother was just dysfunctional, mm -hmm. you know, we come up and we try, or oh, maybe even if mm -hmm. it was healthy, mm -hmm. we then come up and we want to make sure that um, our wives are yeah. like our mothers. When yes, like, no, like comparison, you mother, know, comparison, yeah. like go yeah. your mother if mm -hmm. you want Jimmy yeah. to be a mother, and yeah, yeah. Mm. but um. This is why I highlight the God set up of mm -hmm, family, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, because you get to see if there's people who look up to you, people who obviously will say, you know, Esther this, Esther mm -hmm, that, mm -hmm. and they do not know that also you have to go through yeah, exactly. your own journey, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. you have to go through your own death road, yes, you know, so exactly, that you can get to exactly. a point where you're like emotionally stable, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm spiritually stable, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. psychologically stable, stable yeah. you know, and yeah. even financially stable. Exactly. You know, and um the F word. The, 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 the F word, which Fine. is very nice. which is very yeah. which is which yeah. is which is very important. Mm -hmm. Um you talk of motherhood. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. You realize I'm starting from top. Coming yes, down. coming down like that. <laughs> you talk of motherhood yeah. and parenting, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. You guys just been blessed with uh, your first son, mm -hmm. Malakai. Mm -hmm. And it's just been just over a month, huh? Yes, just literally a month and two days. Wow. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> right. Thank you. Because sure. I'm like some people sure. are like, no, you're not doing it. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> I'm, 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 I just gave it a month ago. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not doing it. Yeah. How does that feel? It's 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 a whole new world, Harold. As in, I, I don't even know how to explain it, but it's mm-hmm. it's so beautiful. I'm so pleasantly overwhelmed, you know. Mm-hmm. And so is Chaka, and it's just such a huge responsibility from mm-hmm. God, you know, mm-hmm. trusting us with this uh, little bundle of joy. Pa- I think parenthood. I, I I keep on telling my friends like this is how mothering a child feels like. It's so intense. And God loves us way more than this, you know? Mm-hmm. Uh, so it, it's really just a sobering moment. You know, now, now everything is around, you know, the child. It's, it's around him. Like, oh, whatever it is that we, we decide to do, it will affect him in one way or the other. Whatever it is you decide to do, whatever Bella decides to do, it will affect Amaya and, and, and Eden in a certain way. So that, that has also really sobered us up to just understanding the space that God has brought us in now. And really just getting ready for a lot of sacrifice, mm-hmm. a lot of sacrifice, a lot of, you know, uh, death to self, mm-hmm. you know, for the sake of the child, yeah. uh, and all of those things, especially with the dynamics of, you know, work and whatnot. These are things that we, we discussed even way before, way before we, we, before we even got married, when we were dating. Mm-hmm. We already spoke about those things because both of us have, you know, these careers that are very demanding, mm-hmm. you know, you might not be home for maybe some days, so who gets to be with the child? So we've, have, we've, we've already had those conversations. And I know, of course, by nature, you know, it's not about, you know, mm-hmm. feminine, every mm-hmm. water. Sometimes mm-hmm. I don't understand. Sometimes let things just be. <laughs> God knew where he placed that. Thing. <laughs> you know, like, I'm not, I'm not uh, thinking of myself less because I'm yeah. staying home. That's a big job, yeah. you know. Uh, raising children is a huge job. And that foundation, once, you know... Uh, misplaced can affect the child for the rest of their life so we already know who's going to slow down you know who who kind of slow a little so that we can both be as present as possible in in in, in his life and whoever it is that and and you know in the years to come we're blessed with more definitely yeah so definitely it's like a new it's a new phase yeah mm-hmm. it's a new phase of our lives yeah yeah one thing i can say to you one mm-hmm. thing i can uh just to definitely affirm you with mm-hmm. is that I know you are equipped for this mm-hmm. by nature, by spiritual mm-hmm. covering, mm-hmm. which is obviously the faith we yeah. believe in, yeah. Jesus Christ our Lord. Mm-hmm. You are guys equipped with this, both you mm-hmm. and Pompey. Mm-hmm. And um, it's so crazy because I always have to remember not to call him Chaga. <laughs> Chaga in front because you know, it's Pompey out Pompey. there. Yeah. You know? <laughs> So yeah. I have to remember not to call him Chaka, but yeah. you and Chaka, you're definitely mm. uh, equipped for this. Mm. And um, you. You I so love much. that uh, your mother would journey is mm. uh, uh, started and is going mm. to continue uh, being um, a blessed mm. journey. Amen. You know, a blessed journey and a fully equipped journey. Mm. You know, because, mm. you know, if you're equipped to do something, mm-hmm. You mm-hmm. are ready, ready to take on anything which yeah, comes, exactly. whether good or bad. Exactly. You know, you are ready to yeah. take on anything which comes. Yeah. Yeah. So, congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Amoyo. <laughs> yes, congratulations. Thank you so much. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You guys obviously met through music. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I want to talk about your journey before yeah. I talk about how you guys met. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. As I said at the beginning. Mm-hmm. I remember, yes. right? Yes. And at that point in time, uh, he, it's not like now. Now I have mm-hmm. to come with the bag. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, now I have to come with the bag. Yeah. You know? At that point in time, you were definitely talented mm. and um, you a people's person. Mm. Right? Yeah. You are a people's person and right. I believe you are you are you are equipped to mother mm, mother the nation yeah, yeah. which basically i believe that's what you're doing mm, right now mm. because even in your birth you know mm. when you get birth mm-hmm. you know i i'm not even from zambia but i just saw <laughs> like even in trends yeah i know else, all right <laughs> it was a different story yeah. that's actually there's something funny i want to talk about yeah. later on that yeah. part okay because everyone was now doing uh, like m- yeah. memes and stuff yeah and yeah yeah else. but did you ever think 
you'll be this far. There's a song back in the day which used to say, did you ever think that you'll be this rich? <laughs> oh, it is, forget about that. <laughs> did you ever think that you'll be this far? Mm, that's a very good question. Well, of course, we all believe in ourselves, you know, one or the yeah. other. But genuinely, I didn't really see it like this. And, you know, God has been faithful. You know, when you're, you, you're trusting God, like, God, whatever it is that you bring my way, I'll be grateful. And now to see, you know, like what he has done through these, the years that have passed so far, it's just so mind-blowing and humbling, you know. Just a girl from Matero. Matero is like Soweto, but no, Matero is a bit better than Soweto. <laughs> but as if, just a girl from the compound, you know, yeah. who just trusted God and uh, believed in, in, in something better for her life. And to see like where God has, has, has reached me, especially through the music, which is now, you know, uh, blossoming into into ministry beyond just music. It's it's very humbling and very beautiful to to, to experience. Very, mm-hmm. very emotional actually. And yeah, I'm grateful to God. I'm truly grateful to God and I pray that, you know, there's more coming. But even if more doesn't come, I'm so I'm grateful for the journey thus far. Cool. Yeah. So um I always love to educate my Mm-hmm. I guess, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Quick education. Uh-huh. So it all. Mm-hmm. It's actually a group of townships together. Oh, it's not yeah. just one. Yeah, it's called Southwestern Townships. Okay, right. you learn something new every day. So, yes. So now Southwestern ta- So yeah, yeah, Okay, okay. okay. So it being a group of townships, mm-hmm. there's actually um, obviously other parts of mm-hmm. Soweto, which are like the old, like type, of, the, mm-hmm. old type of Soweto. Mm-hmm. And then there's obviously no parts of Soweto mm-hmm. now where mm-hmm. there's like building plot here, but right. there's actually um, other parts of Soweto where mm-hmm. you get to see like people who are like Casey, K, uh, um, Orlando Paris, mm-hmm. uh, chairmen who mm-hmm. actually have houses, there, mm-hmm. you know, houses yes. which are in uh, your hundred thousand mm-hmm. dollars, it's like you buy a million rands or something mm-hmm. like you mm-hmm. two million rands. Mm-hmm. So it's it's just like it's a big it's, it's, it's a big a, place. It's a big place, mm-hmm. but it's not just one township. Right. So it's south. It's there's south like there's different yes, diversity. Yes, so it's, it's south and west, western ah. township. So you get to see that there's even in some place where your Nyanja people will actually mm-hmm. stay there, your Bemba mm-hmm. people will stay, stay there. there. Okay. And then there's uh, that way you you know the Chewa people yes. or laws with people. Yes. So that place that has the twin towers, what place is that? That's Orlando. That's Orlando. Yes. Okay. That's okay. Orlando. So that's probably maybe the one which people know. Yes. Because yes. obviously there it's Orlando, mm-hmm. just down a few kilometers from mm-hmm. there. There's obviously Mandela. There's the Mandela house. Yes, we visited Mandela's that as well. Yeah. Stuff, yeah. Which okay. Is great, which, which is that. great. Thank yeah. you. Cool. Mm-hmm. Back to your career. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm gonna say my favorite mom esther chungu moment okay right yes and then you tell me yours my favorite okay all right yeah what's yours my favorite esther chungu moment is that there is no african under the sun yeah right <laughs> yes who's ever done global well at that point in time right we had ever done global citizen new york, new york. Yeah. all the other africans who had done global citizen they done it yeah. in in essay. The south of Joburg, mm-hmm, in essay, mm-hmm, the Calabash, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. the soccer city. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> so, <laughs> because we are happy, we are, we are, we are, we are about states, we are about, you know what I mean? If, if I'm going to do something, I'm going to come and flex on you. I'm going to come and flex on you. I'm going to come and flex on you. Yeah. So, that's my favorite moment. Wow. Wow. That's my serious, serious favorite. Yeah, moment. yeah. What's your favorite? I hear moment? you. I want to, okay. <laughs> now it to seem like I'm copying you. Now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, I think my favorite moment would have to be that moment mm-hmm. because I really felt like I felt so small in a beautiful way, Harold, mm-hmm. that. There's literally nothing that's impossible with God. Mm. Like, all you have to do is just have faith. Like, how I found myself there is literally just God. Mm. And on top of it, you know, to, to declare his name, you mm. know, mm. on that stage mm. was very, very... It was, it was something else. Like, up to now, I'm always like, pinch me, pinch me. Did that happen? Yeah. You know, I think that would definitely be my favorite moment. However, my other favorite moment has to be this year 
when uh, I called my mom to the stage to dance with me at the album launch. I really love that moment wow. and I'll cherish it forever. <laughs> the album launch, I was yeah. like, I was, I was supposed to be here. Uh, you were supposed to be here. Uh, you told speaking me. Even on the yes, day I and know, day I know. Yes. Yeah, yeah, but that, that, would also, that would be the day that, yeah, I really loved being on stage with my mama. So, let me just paint a picture for mm-hmm. the people who do not know. Okay, you, okay. Right? You go to Global Citizen, mm-hmm. New York, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And uh, one of the biggest bands, probably maybe the top mm-hmm. three bands, yes, Dead or Alive. Yep, yep. You know, top mm-hmm. three bands, Dead or mm-hmm. Alive, Coldplay. Coldplay, yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. And Coldplay, Chris Martin comes Chris up. Chris Martin. <laughs> and calls you and yes. he says, We've got, I've got a friend. Yeah, yeah. All the way from Zambia. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I'm grateful he got that right. You know, like, yeah. can I just be honest? For a minute, yeah. Chris was the only one who made me feel seen in terms of knowing the geography of Africa. Because when you say you're from Zambia, chances are very high they'll talk about Zimbabwe. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. in Zimbabwe, Zambia. <laughs> you know? Yeah. But he really was like very like, oh, so I, oh Zambia. Mm, so you say Zimbabwe is better than. I'm mean, just joking. Uh, <laughs> you want to start the TikTok thing? <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I know. <laughs> yes. Yes, so mm. he actually has family. Let's go he actually has family in Zimbabwe. Yes, his mom, mom. his mom is a yes. people do. Yes, people, his mom is a yes, mom exactly. Is so he says, Oh, you're my neighbor. Yes, Zambia, Zambia. Zambia. Yeah. Yes, so it was very, very nice of him. Yeah, so and then he calls you, mm-hmm. and then you come up on stage. Yeah, but when you come up on stage, the stage is so big, so big. So right? I stood behind. So you are in a small part yes. of the stage. Did you notice that he came to me? Yeah, yeah. So he was telling me, Esther, yes, come, yes. come to the he was front. Actually, he was, while he was coming to you, he was actually yes. signaling. Yes, exactly. And then he said, come, this, yes, the floor yes. is yours. Yeah, yeah. Now the floor is yours. <laughs> you sing a song mm. which glorifies God. Mm. Mm. You know? Mm. Yeah. Basically, the newer version of mm-hmm. the name Yahweh, exactly. of which Yahweh for me, mm-hmm. so I won't go theological. Right. Because, <laughs> Are we ready for that? Yahweh is like Yahweh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know yeah. I mean? yeah. But we, there's a name Jehovah. Jehovah. Mm-hmm. You come up and you sing Jehovah. Mm. Mm. That's like a Selah moment. Mm. That is wild. Mm. You are a global citizen. And I'm not. I'm you could have Jehovah. decided any to choose any other <laughs> I song. I don't even play song. <laughs> you could have decided to choose any other song. Yeah. And yeah. then you sing Jehovah. Mm, mm, mm. Choice of song. Choice of song. One, there was no time to start singing, to start, uh, what, what's, what's the word? Translating for them. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So, of course, the song is practically Nyanja. Yeah. But they will understand Jehovah. Mulima Jehovah was Kulu. that word, you know, that kept on coming. Yeah. Jehovah, you know. And so, even with me choosing that song, I really wanted something that will evangelize yeah. whilst, I'm, whilst I'm singing. You yeah. know, like if there's something that somebody should get, it's that name, you know, that is above every other name. And it was so intense because right after I, I left stage, there was this big man, mm. Harold, big man, huge man. Mm-hmm. He came and approached me and he said, I didn't even understand what you're saying, but there was just something so spiritual about, about that moment. Thank you so much. And he started crying. Me confused. I said, uh, okay, okay, sir, thank you, thank you. You know, like, it was, it was so intense. It was so overwhelming. I was just like, wow. And a few others then and just approached me like, wow, like, I don't, I really wasn't understanding, but there's something that I felt. And that in itself is God doing the rest of the work. You know, you just do your part. And especially in the, in the space that we've reached today it's not very cool you know to be that christian it's always like ah you know uh but just doing what you need to do understanding you know the mandate that god has given us as born again christians we need to be loud about our love you know for people for god and for for humanity but it's like love there's something that i saw by viola davis i don't know i'll just um I'll, I'll quote it or paraphrase, paraphrase yeah. exactly. Thank you. The, that, that talks about how, you know, love whispers, you know, hate is very loud, you know, but, and, and we have so much to give, but always it's just, we, we want to be the ones that are like, oh, if it's okay with you, I love you, you know, but if there's so much hate, it's right there in your face, it's like, and so even moments like that help you to just understand that just do your part, you know, as a born again Christian. It's okay if you don't look as cool yes, <laughs> as yeah. the rest of the world. We are not of the world anyway, and, yeah. and, and that's fine. Yeah, so 
that's definitely a beautiful moment I had there. No man, so, <laughs> so short, so short, so so short. <laughs> so short. And um, you know, they, that's one thing which every believer has to do. Mm-hmm. When you've got an opportunity yes. to preach the gospel, mm-hmm. preach mm-hmm. it. Preach it. Preach it. You do not know mm-hmm. when you're mm-hmm. gonna get that other mm-hmm. opportunity. Yeah. You do not know how yeah. that opportunity is mm-hmm. going to come. Mm-hmm. You do not know why mm-hmm. God has given you that opportunity. that opportunity. So whenever you're ready, just do it. Do it. Just preach. Be the, ready. Be, be ready. Be, yes. be, be ready and preach yeah. the gospel. Yeah. yeah. So for me, that's like my favorite moment. Mm-hmm. And um, but let me tell you also my favorite moment in your career. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Is always meeting you off stage. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I believe like people do not know what type of amazing person you are. Thank you, Harold. Because you know when you're on stage, you're just right. Like you said, the music, you know, you just do what you can and do. And you know the funny part, Eden thought you were my sister. Are you serious? Yes. <laughs> Eden. <laughs> so when Esther and the husband come, they usually yes. obviously come here yeah, out with us, yeah. and we, we know. Eden thought you were my sister. <laughs> you're sure, sorry. Like, like, she was she said, she said, she said, <laughs> and I was like, it's my. Christian duty. So Christian duty. To, to to set this record straight right. and say she's my sister in law. <laughs> but she's not a moyo. She's not a moyo. Harrison she's a moyo, is, but she's not a moyo. <laughs> yeah. Harrison is not a dad. Yeah. You know, so that's how amazing you are. Thank you. Thank you. That's so how much. amazing you Thank are. You that so uh, it's just that uh, even those people think that you're family. Mm, you know, mm, that's how amazing mm, you are. And I know uh, in as much as because the honest truth is that where you are right now mm. three years ago mm-hmm. you are not the same artist mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. right now you're actually mm-hmm. the, you're a big deal mm-hmm. you know and um, I know you don't like to blow your own horn <laughs> yes, it's, it's always okay. but you're probably the biggest <laughs> female artist in the country what? Harold Harold yeah, you are the biggest female artist in Zambia. Oh, I'm grateful Christian for you. Christian. I'm grateful for your view. You know? <laughs> <laughs> for, my, for my view. <laughs> for my view. She's in there. There is that, there is that rapper. There's that hip-hop personality Rima. in you. There's that hip-hop personality you saying, yes, I am. <laughs> yes, I am. Yeah. So, hip-hop artists are too much, you guys. <laughs> you know, yes, I am. I'm the best. Yeah, you know? <laughs> yes, I am. Uh, no, thank you. I'm grateful. <laughs> mm. What are the three things mm. if esther has to put down the mic of which i do not think mm. so you're probably gonna be like miriam akebo angelina koji i love both of you know sissy winers i love her so again much. she can also flex because she's the there's no female artist dead or alive who's won grammys more than sissy winers <laughs> that moment. And, to, and to think she even had a a, a a break and still came back like nothing happened like, boom. <laughs> Sissy, I love that. Can I tell you a story? Yes. This actually reminds me of you. Mm-hmm. Sissy and the husband actually passed a church. What? Right? I didn't even know that. So these Gen Zs or Gen yes, Xs, what, yes, what yes, after yes, the Gen yes. Z, yeah. you know? Yeah. They hear that the last album which uh, uh, mm-hmm. Pastor Sissy mm-hmm. actually dropped, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. They call it Pastor Sissy, right? Pastor Sissy. Yeah, so the which the last album she dropped, so they announced in church, mm-hmm. uh, you know, Pastor Sissy just dropped an album. They like, didn't know she sings. That, <laughs> you sing? <laughs> <laughs> you sing? Who are you? You see? They didn't know that side of They didn't know her. that oh this person gosh. sings. Like, sing, sings, like has carried the gospel. Yes. On her back. They didn't know that this person sings, sings. Wow, wow. Wow, that's very that's you see that, that that's how yeah. sometimes even yeah. like our gifts, yes, mm-hmm. they're there to glorify God, mm-hmm. but they're actually mm-hmm. nothing. Yeah. Mm. You know? That's deep. You know, they're actually that's nothing. Deep. We are called just that's to be sons. Deep. Yes, to be servants. You know, we just called to be sons, whether yeah. you're a woman or a the guy, woman, yeah. whatever, you just called to be, be sons. sons. Yeah. You know, and um that's one thing which I love about you. So that's the, 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 that's the, that's with Sissy. Thank you so much, Harry. Tell me mm-hmm. three things which you say. Thirty years from now, mm-hmm. if I achieve this, mm-hmm. three, mm-hmm. then I'm good. 
then you say thank you jesus thank you'll never so be good you are good, good, good because of jesus you're good because of jesus <laughs> in three I things you just say you know and like, you'll like, you be like thank you jesus hmm. okay so the next three is i'll say number one mm-hmm. it's far-fetched but my god is my god never flop yeah. <laughs> my mm. god is great yeah and you know Happiness is free. Dreaming is free. Yes. But I would really, really love to go on tour with my husband. An African tour. Okay. And a worldwide tour. I would love that. That, I would just be like, God, thank you. Okay. But especially Africa. Funny enough, like, both of us, funny enough, if you've seen, we really love Africa. Mm. And I really love how, especially, like, with Chaka, he's literally the African ego. Sorry, I've, I've kind of, like, David. Yes. He's literally the African ego because in every country he goes. That's what he, when he started, that's what he started yes, saying. I'm the African exactly. ego. Exactly. And we're seeing it come to pass in every way. Exactly. Because when he goes to to South Africa, you know, he will blend in so well. He goes to Burundi, to Uganda, to Kenya. You know, there's just something about him that resonates with Africa. And I love that. And so I love Africa. The first time, you know, when I was releasing Mubanga, I had a conversation with one of my mentors, mm-hmm. Samba Yonga. I don't mm-hmm. know if you've met her. Do you know about Samba Yonga? Mm-hmm. I should introduce you. And one of our friends from Kenya, she, I met her through Samba, uh, Gina. Mm-hmm. She's an amazing um, filmmaker. I was talking, they were asking me like, oh, what, what would you like? That, I, I was just starting out, you mm-hmm. know, we are just about, we're, we had just literally released Mubanga, you know, with uh, Stevie Mwale, Magnus, you know, the Brave mm-hmm. Only family. And they were saying, what would you like, you know, as Esther? And I Those said, Those are the I'll people who stole really... me. Oh, sorry, continue. Continue, continue. continue. <laughs> you continue, continue. <laughs> yes, so they asked me, like, what would you really love? And I said, I would really love to learn as many African cultures as possible through the music. Like, mm-hmm. it's my dream to go and shoot a video in Kenya, to go and shoot a video in SA, to shoot a video in Cameroon, you know, and, and learn about them in, in, the, in the process. So definitely, I would really love that tour. I would really love it. Number two, recording a song with Sissy Winans. It is time. Recording a song with Sissy Winans. It is time. I'm even getting teary because she's one of the people who've really been so inspirational to me, Harold, mm-hmm. you know, as far as music goes, as far as family values, you know, the Christian work for a woman. Because uh, I, I really genuinely love her. She's really played a big role in me starting, you know, music. So I would really be honored to meet that woman. And number three, mm-hmm. singing at Woman Involved Conference <laughs> by Pastor Sarah J. <laughs> Roberts, I would really love that. <laughs> Your dreams are valid. <laughs> they are quite expensive. Your but... <laughs> dreams are valid. <laughs> we can dream. <laughs> Your dreams are valid. Your dreams are valid. <laughs> Yeah. So yeah. those are the three. Like that, and, I would um, say that. I can see them, them easily happening. I pray to God. Right. Mm-hmm. Um. I would love to mm-hmm. make sure that one happens. At least one. Yeah. No, not not, not number one. No, there's a whole number, number one I would happens. I sure that oh, number one happens. Right. <laughs> But uh, obviously, we we just have to make sure that maybe we just do five countries mm-hmm. with you first, right? And right. Then yeah, because I've never done I've, that. I've always said to Chaka that we the next level now is mm-hmm. uh, Pompey. Mm-hmm. Sorry, guys. Mm-hmm. The, the next level now is Atlanta. Exactly. London, exactly. Dallas, exactly. You know. Is it Jason Dallas? <laughs> you know, those are those are the yeah. you know those are the um yes, things and definitely. then um Sissy mm-hmm. Winans mm-hmm. is definitely a prayer point because yeah, she's point. very picky, very choosy. Mm-hmm. But you know like, when she when, <laughs> yeah, she, yeah. when she knows you, mm-hmm. when she resonates with your heart. Mm-hmm. It's gone. it's gone. It's game over. Right. Ah, women involved. But mm-hmm. the, I, the, that's 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 your prayer. That one. Me, I'm gonna pray for it too. <laughs> you you get that bed and I'll carry this one. I'll carry. I'll this carry. One. The, you carry the, the two. two. I'll you carry, carry, this carry one. The, the three. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing wrong with yeah. women involved. Yeah, yeah. I love them, but yeah. I just feel like mm. though it to be an honor for them to have you. <laughs> Harold. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> Pray for those three. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're an artist. Mm. What's the most difficult time mm-hmm. where you said, I'm done? Mm-hmm. 
I don't want this. I don't want this no more. If any. Yeah. Oh, there's, there's been a lot. I think, what, what, what would I say? First of all, <clears throat> the quiet moments for mm. an artist. Mm. It feels like your career, you know, is done, done, done. Mm. Uh, but honestly speaking, God has been good, Harold. You know, God has been good, like as far as uh, activities mm. around the career. Yeah. But I think the dynamics of balancing who you are mm. and trying not to get intertwined, you know, in the noise of the world, because sometimes there can be that noise that comes as a result of you, you know, being mm -hmm. known publicly. So some sort of cyber bullying, you know, some sort of, sometimes it gets so overwhelming. You're just like, you know what, God, I love you, you know that. And I was willing to do this. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to just take a step back, you know, that type of thing. But you can't because God, <laughs> we keep on, it's so funny. Uh, Chuck and I were having a conversation and I think we're talking about just something that had happened because even, uh, we've never really talked about this. Mm -hmm. We've never touched on it, but, um, we were married just two years before before you know mm -hmm. baby came mm -hmm. but there were already people talking oh when are you having a child when are you having a, you know those you know yes, those funny yes. funny people and it was usually you know the women the older women uh but we're just having a conversation around that and how unfortunately or fortunately when you go to god in prayer and say oh no god this is what's happening so maybe i should you know god won't say oh sorry esther i understand you know god is god does not work with emotions you know he works with you know, doing whatever it is you need to do, yeah. you know, because if we worked with emotions, Jesus Christ himself, you know, it was a big burden, but it still had to be done. Uh, so I think those moments, they, 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 they can be quite heavy and they can be quite blurring, you know, you even miss seeing God's blessings. But in, in minutes or so, an hour, you're okay, you know, you move on, you forget. So if, if it's something you can forget in less than a day, it's not that important. You know, it's not that significant to affect your, your career and your ministry. So I'd say that I think those are the moments that have I've had, like, really, you know, those moments where I'm just like, you know what, God, I think I'll just love you from, from home, you know. Like, I'll, I'll continue loving you from home. And do you think that uh, heightened mm -hmm. when you got married? Definitely. Definitely, because there's more eyes, there's more of this, you know, like, and, and you know, with, with, with Chaka and I and our dynamics, you, you, you sometimes like I, I, I don't know if it's easier when you maybe marry someone who who might not be in the in the public eye, but he was already in the public eye. I was already in the public eye. And then now, boom, you know. So I think there's just more like eyes on us and and whatnot. But there's still the beautiful sides to it as well. So, come see, come sir. Yeah, and you know the crazy part is um, mm. the reason why I ask is because it I saw it then it became a job. Mm -hmm. after when you gave birth, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? Because mm -hmm. we knew, obviously, that you were mm -hmm. expecting. Right. We knew, like, earlier on, mm -hmm. but the public didn't know. They, they didn't know. know. Mm -hmm. So there's people who probably see you mm -hmm. when I was driving around, there's billboards of you right. and your husband, right. you know, with mm -hmm. advertising with different brands mm -hmm. and stuff. Mm -hmm. And um, there's people who see you on tele, right. because also you do tele mm -hmm. too, mm -hmm. you know, and mm -hmm. you kind of stop now, but you do yeah. TV too. Yeah. Um, so people think that they know you. No, oh, exactly. And people think that uh, you know we can say whatever we say. Yeah, exactly. You know? <clears throat> exactly. And when what I saw, I saw people then making now memes, jokes mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to say you were busy waiting mm -hmm. or something like that. He mm -hmm. tees, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, and that, is and, then, and, mm -hmm. and it was like trending because mm -hmm. you guys went, you came up and you posted a yes. A, Pregnancy, pregnancy picture, shoot. but yeah. to the pregnancy shoot was the child was already. It was the yes, was the child already, was already born. Was yeah. born, which yeah. is beautiful. Which was mm -hmm. that shoot was beautiful, mm -hmm. by the way. Thank you. <laughs> you know, and um, basically, I that shook mm -hmm. this the country. Yes, exactly. It was for, it was quite overwhelming. It shook the country the for, whole for, for, week, for, for, whole, for, yeah. for 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 like a whole mm, week. Right, and. When I'm seeing all this thing, and I'm like, human nature is. Fickle is weird. Mm -hmm. It's very weird. 
because these are people the same also people <laughs> who are the same people, the same people who, who were saying you. hey what's going on you know and these are the same people are now you <laughs> know that congratulations and they're posting you right, up and stuff exactly. and everything else and they're making jokes about what mm-hmm. they were saying exactly to try themselves to try to make it to make themselves feel better as well make it make themselves feel better in my head i'm like I wonder how my sister feels mm-hmm. at that point in time. I know Chaka doesn't care. Yeah, yeah. Chaka is not it's you know, like, ah, like pump, you know, pump. but for like for me, I'm a very emotional person. <laughs> Pompey sucks with his WhatsApp. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> it's just, and, in his own world. And what, what it does is that you, you then call you just once here. Uh, like my know, brother, just hi. Hey, just that's, checking that's, out. That's just a way of showing that we're like, still I brothers. I love you and I got you. Yeah. <laughs> that's, a, that's just a way of showing exactly. that we're still brothers. Exactly, like I love you and so I got you. So him, I'm fine with, mm-hmm. but I was like, how's my sister doing yeah. with this thing? Yeah, yeah. And I'm... I'm glad you found mm-hmm. a way, mm-hmm. you know, to know that after a minute all these things mm-hmm. go away. Because some people take their whole lives away. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Some people are not even, we don't even have a platform like yeah, you. Yeah. Some people just have a small platform. Mm-hmm. Some people are just followed by 10 people. Mm-hmm. And then they go see Esther, she's beautiful. Mm-hmm. And then mm-hmm. they get pressured with that. Right, right, right. You know, this online thing I is know, just I know, I know. It's, it's a very weird it's, space. It's, it's, a, it's a weird space. Yeah, and, um, yeah. Yeah. It's an encouragement to everyone to say use your online space mm-hmm, mm-hmm. for the better yeah, to make this world to, yeah, exactly. to make this world a better world. Yes, yes. But yes. I'm glad you shook the city. <laughs> you shook the country. <laughs> in as much as the haters were hate. <laughs> haters gonna hate. You know, potatoes you know, gonna potato. You know, you know there's, 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 there's those work rappers who say they've got haters. Like it's for the haters. Uh, who you, are you, they though? You, you, Who's your hater? <laughs> You know a rapper, but you're gonna hit us. So stop, ma'am, ma'am. Let's come back home. Let's come back home. Anyways, yeah. <laughs> you are married to one of the most uh, influential mm. Zambian artists of all time. Mm. Mm. I think when he dies, they'll probably put him in the top five. Mm. Mm. You know. Mm. Um, I'm an artist of all time, mm. and um, I know you separately. Mm-hmm. You know, because I I think we spoke about parenting and stuff, but I just mm. want to talk about your love journey. Mm-hmm. I know you guys separately. Yeah, you know, and um, there is something which I felt when you were talking, mm-hmm. which felt like, in as much as I know you're so secure in yourself. Mm-hmm. But it felt like you were just a child from mm-hmm. what's the place called? Matero. Matero. Mm-hmm. And then I have known Chaka. Chaka has always been a cheese boy. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. Chaka has been a cheese boy. Mm-hmm. I met him even just soon after Monash in mm-hmm. South Africa. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, he's always been that you know, <laughs> a cool guy. Been, he's, always, he's always been that guy. Mm-hmm. You know, he's, mm-hmm. he's, um, he's just a baby boy. Mm-hmm. He's a cheese mm-hmm. boy. How do you know that God, I know I believe in choices. Mm-hmm. I believe that mm-hmm. when someone comes in, there's a choice mm-hmm. which you get. Yeah. How did you know that this is this the one guy. and where did the confidence come from? Mm-hmm. Because we know these stories which mm-hmm. come from books. And yes, tracks, yes. <laughs> you know, there's whatever and all. Yeah. But, and when... How did you know that the how, how did you gather the confidence mm-hmm. to know that you know, this is it? This is it. I don't even know how I can explain it to yeah, be honest. Yeah. But I think it just it just it's just so happened, you know, that things just fell in place. Like things just fell in place. I don't even know how to explain it, Harold. Mm-hmm. But things literally just fell in place. And and when we went on our, our first date, we spoke and touched on so many important things that we, we always reference back even to the first date, like we reference back like, oh, remember when we talked about this, when we talked about this. And I think his, his, his space, his, um, his, what's the word? His thoughts mm-hmm. on family, his thoughts mm-hmm. on God, his thoughts on uh, finances. I think that's what really just made me just feel like, I felt very safe, I felt very, <clears throat> I don't even know how to explain it. And I, I, I hadn't seen him in that light before. And so when, when, when that happened, it was just like, it's just, it's just like, like dominoes, you know, like just yes. falling into place. And so when he proposed, I was like, sir, I got you. I got you. I ain't even gone, you know. Uh, 
play around and and, and whatnot. And we we had both reached spaces where it was it was more than just you know like oh I'm just trying to get to know someone, mm-hmm. you know it was like for the real deal. <clears throat> and so even when things just started uh, happening, it was just like you know like God is just fulfilling something and fulfilling something and fulfilling something. And uh, a friend of mine is actually telling me like you know Esther I I truly genuinely believe you are living in your God given purpose. And sometimes we don't we don't see it when we're the ones. What? You know that type of thing. That's quite very heavy and so it's very it's intense. So definitely it's 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 good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And um I know it's God because mm-hmm. I believe in as much as there's that ma reto, mm-hmm. matero. Mm-hmm. <laughs> matero. Right? Matero, right? Yeah, matero. Matero mm-hmm. situation mm-hmm. and there's the you know, mm-hmm. suburban boy, mm-hmm. wall up family and mm-hmm. stuff and mm-hmm. everything else. I always say, Pump is my boy, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. But I'm like, he actually hit the jackpot. <laughs> Thank you. He actually hit a serious jackpot. Mm. Because with the type of guy I know of excellence, of honor, mm. you know, mm. there's some things which you can do. Yeah, I can think that I can do. You, you, you know, which, <laughs> yeah. which Pompey can't do. And yeah, there's some things yeah. where, you know, like, whatever, mm-hmm, you know. Mm-hmm. And then I, there's a grace which you carry. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, what? <laughs> God, this is a power. That's the power. That's how you, that's how you mm. make power team. Mm. You know how it is mm. how they assemble yes. Avengers. Yes, exactly. exactly. You know? Yeah, yeah. Like yeah, they yeah. assemble like power team. Yes. They assemble yes. like this is, this, yeah. is, this is the best. And yeah. that's like, that's how God, that's how you mm. make a power team. Mm. Because mm. he is a pragmatic mm-hmm. in his way of thinking mm-hmm. and everything else and all. Mm-hmm. And you. I feel like you, like that guy, person who actually goes into the whole of mm. all this, but also mm. definitely seriously faith driven, mm. mm. you know. And I'm like, if those two come together, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. if those two come together, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like it's like whoa, <laughs> it's, it's 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 power. <clears throat> yeah. If those two come together, mm. it is serious, serious, mm. serious power. Mm. So. Shout out to you guys. I'm praying Thank for you guys. You. No internet form that gets you. you. No Amen. devil, no liar. Amen. Hell <laughs> or wherever. Amen. <laughs> will mm. come against Amen. you guys. Amen. You know, oh, you're you a that. woman of integrity. Amen. And I love that for you. Thank you, Harry. Before we go, mm. you decide to have a closed wedding. Mm-hmm. 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 You tell everyone when you're coming in, you're putting your phone mm-hmm. in a bag. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you guys can do it. No, we trusted them enough. <laughs> we were about to do that. Just like, oh, I'm joking. <laughs> they had their phones. They just yeah. left themselves. Yeah, and that's then, it. They, they they respected then, rather and then and then and then, and then and then um afterwards when you get married, mm-hmm. there's uh on your wedding, mm-hmm. there's no one, there's no, no photo. picture, there's no picture on social media, no review. Zero. Zero. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Why? Which comes into mm-hmm. the space of you being a, you've always been a business person. Mm-hmm. And then you meet Chuck, who's also a mm-hmm. businessman, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. Me and Chuck, I believe in the same thing. Mm-hmm. Occupy. Everything. Everything. <laughs> yeah. Know, actually, the discuss of scripture, you say, do mm-hmm. business until mm-hmm. I come. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. You might be the business of preaching the Lord. Mm-hmm. Occupy actual until business. I come. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Actual business, do mm-hmm. business until I come. Mm-hmm. Occupy until I come. Yeah. Is that your first deal with DSTV, or you already had a deal with DSTV already? You already I, doing, doing something with DSTV. Yes, I already had a, a, a deal with DSTV, and then uh, that came as well. So they they approached us like if we. So you are the first couple in Zambia. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. Actually, mm-hmm. let me say besides another couple in SA. Right. Who, unfortunately, oh yes, I know. That's yeah, sad. Very sad. Very sad, yeah. You're the first couple who then come up and then mm-hmm. with the uh, the T S T V lineup come mm-hmm. up and say, We're gonna show your wedding. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We're gonna show the whole process. The whole process and yeah. stuff. Yeah. So, so yeah. Mm-hmm. So in, initially even before they approached us, 
uh, we still wanted it to be very, very intimate, very, very away from you yeah. know. And I think that's one of the things that we have been very deliberate about. Even like when we started dating, mm-hmm. just you know, you people who are close, 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 are mm-hmm. the people who knew. And the 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 issue with internet with that buff, buff, buffers me is just because it's not on the internet does not mean it's not real. Yeah. You know that type of thing. Yeah. You know it's like almost we have it's, it's almost like we have to prove a point on the internet. But maybe in reality things are not even how they are looking yes, on the internet, yes, yes. you know. So we we were sort of, you know, very uh, a little guarded about, you know, when to then go public but our families knew, our close friends knew. And so then we we did, you know, announce you know, like people put two and two together and then we also made po- um, posts and then but but we we've we've always told ourselves to never find ourselves entangled, you know, in the noise of the world, you know, mm-hmm. to always invest in the in the now, in in the reality, and that's why even for the wedding, we didn't want any unnecessary pressure, any unnecessary, you know, things going on. We wanted to be in the moment, and genuinely, we were in the moment. It's one of the best days of my life, and you know, even my girls, you know, they always say, oh, can we go back to that day? You know, we really really genuinely enjoyed ourselves, and people respected that. Uh, I remember there was a meme, even even for that that phase, those mm. those memes that came out. You know, like oh, uh, has Esther been left at the uh, at the aisle at the Ooh. altar? You know, like people people are so weird. People are so so weird. Mm. I know, right? Yeah. So and then on the nineteenth, because we got married on the seventeenth. Mm. On the nineteenth is when we posted like a picture, like mm. both of us posted on our on our socials, and yeah, so. Definitely. So, so, so now that's when uh, DSTV stepped in. Of course, like right, like closer to the to the wedding. So we, then we, we had our, our chats and we said, okay, no, I think that would be a good idea. You know, at the end of the day, let's make that money. such a nice thing anyway. A lot of people say, oh, th- uh, thank you. We felt like we're at your wedding. Yeah, so I feel for like, the people who genuinely yeah, love us, yeah. I feel like I have touched important parts of your life. You definitely have. Um, before you go, mm-hmm. I just want to say, may the rest of your life mm-hmm. feel like or be like mm-hmm. you're dancing with your mama's stage. Amen. May it feel like you are hearing the first cry mm-hmm. of Malachi. Amen. <laughs> May it feel like the first day mm-hmm. Pompey came up and say, would you marry me? Wow. Amen. May it feel like the day when he actually married you. Amen. And may it feel like you're actually on top of the world and no limits, no boundaries, no nations, Amen. no ethnicity, no countries, can hold you down and or can limit you mm-hmm. that global citizen moment mm-hmm. is not the final mm-hmm. the best is definitely yet to come mm-hmm. and may your love continue <laughs> shining bright and bright amen as you guys say on the song you mm-hmm right and yeah. then i'm translating right mm-hmm. you know you're the shamboko yeah <laughs> and may you not just be a bling on your mm-hmm. finger mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. may it be a bling in your heart amen in the way you parent amen. in the way you, being, you become your sister mm-hmm. and in the way you love your husband and amen Amen. You are loved, my sister. Amen. Thank you, my brother. <laughs> I thought I would make it through this podcast with not tears. <laughs> I'm so grateful. God bless you. Thank you God sister. bless you. I'm Thank so you. proud of you. I know. I remember we talked about this. Yeah. You said, I'm starting the dead road. Look at us now. You know. Congratulations. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and do all the things. Esther Chungo, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> go and stream your music. Thank you. you will be blown away. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>